Welcome back to Futuristic Tech and AI. Today we're going to discuss machine learning in quantum domain. We all are familiar with machine learning a little bit, but certainly we have no idea how quantum mechanics indulge with the field of machine learning. We promise this video will make you feel that a new era has started because almost 80% of classic machine learning algorithms have been or will be replaced by quantum machine learning. What is classical machine learning and how does it actually work? Once we have an idea about classical machine learning or their algorithms, then we can move to the basics of quantum machine learning and its comparison with classical machine learning. What is machine learning? As IBM states, machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence or AI and computer science which focuses on the use of data and algorithms to imitate the way that humans learn, gradually improving its accuracy. If we want to understand in simpler terms, then machine learning is basically learning to predict output using either features or patterns in the dataset. As machine learning algorithms are always finding trends in datasets, sometimes we humans ignore the various perspectives which machines are able to detect. The machine learning algorithms are classified according to its ways of learning. There are four types of algorithms, supervised, unsupervised, semi-supervised, and reinforced learning. Now it's pretty much clear that to improve the accuracy of predictions, we need a huge data set. Most of the time, this is one of the major hurdles in machine learning territory. Because we have limited space of processors, and that's why there are multiple ways to reduce either dimension or change space of vectors to classify better such as principal component algorithm support vector machine. Now, why quantum machine learning? What benefit do we get from quantum mechanics? This is straightforward. And if you have followed our previous videos, you know what quantum realm works on these principles qubits, or multiple states at once, quantum entanglement and quantum superposition. Things get very interesting when qubits get entangled, their superposition value increases. One other thing from which we can benefit is quantum parallelism. According to quantum parallelism, when you have a quantum computer with large superposition of values due to many entangled qubits, you can measure the function output for many values simultaneously. Now these might be definitions for you. Let me break this up. Now when information is stored in a classical bit, it can take two values if you want to increase the information you have to increase the bits. Machine learning in the classical domain works on serial processing. On the other hand, qubits basically take unlimited values in between 0 and 1. Superposition of both 0 and 1, dataset right here is immensely increased, which means more accuracy in predictions. And quantum parallelism takes the computational power to a whole new level. A paper published in 2018 comparisons of performance between quantum and classical machine learning. The most interesting results were found from the quantum variational SVM to perform multi-class classification on the Y dataset. Since the quantum variational SVM for the multi-class classification problem had higher accuracy than the classical SVM, 93.33% compared to 90%. There are some limitations as well, but we assure you that quantum science is very close to solving them. The first would be the data encoding of classical to quantum domain because if we use classical algorithms on a quantum data set, quantum parallelism is lost means eventually a huge part of the data set is lost. And then there's no point in all this. The other is basically measuring problems. How to measure the result or output of quantum bits. Here comes the quantum operators, but how to really understand the result. All these things are very important as well as fascinating. Thank you so much for your time. We hope that you guys are also excited about the future of AI. Let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. We will keep doing our best. Cheers!